listening to Agape FM, nearer to you. It is a Monday afternoon. The time is one o'clock exactly. This is the midday talk. I am Unwabi Sambekela. And uh, today we are again sitting with wonderful people. Wonderful, wonderful people. Um, How is everyone today? Hi, we are good. I'm Lelo. You can call me Nomvuselelo. I'm, I'm Nomvuselelo. Most people know me as Lelo. Mm-hmm. And how are you, sir? I'm good, I'm also good. Um, my name is Malibongwe, but you can call me Libongwe. Malibongwe and Libongwe. This is, once again, the Midday Talk. I am Nwabisa, and you are still t- tuning in to Adagapi FM, and uh, we bring you nothing but the best. I'm sitting with the directors and the founders of Lelo N travels uh you like you know we always read the bio first so that you know what we're talking about and who they are we are live on all our social media platforms uh if you want to join into our live we are on facebook at agape fm you want if you want to send a shout out or uh, you just want to chill in and just give a uh, your, your questions we are at 69 that is on whatsapp i'm reading the bio Lelo N Travels is a travel agency that deals with planning trips, tours, as well as offer holiday packages to clients. Their clients come from all walks from all walks of life with different dream holidays. They offer their unique services, which ensures that they enjoy the experience of traveling and make great memories. Um, I want to go. I want to go so down because the bio is long, right? And uh, you know when when you get the bio, and you're like, okay. Yeah, this is it. Like, this is really it. Um, Traveling does not need to be expensive. Thus, they make sure that it is affordable working around the budget of the client so that they will not be overspending. They plan and coordinate trips for businesses, individuals, groups, um, schools, and for couples. Right. Yeah. Before I get to the questions, do you have any shout out? Do you want to give any shout out to anyone who might be tuning in right now and listening on live? Yes, um, I want to say, send a shout out to our beautiful and lovely Lelo and Travelers. I know they, I know mm, they, mm, they, mm. they tuned in right now watching us. Uh, shout out to them, shout out to our business partners. They're also listening because we had to, had to share the link with everyone we know. Shout out mm, to our mm. friends that are listening. But thank yes. you. And from your mom? Yeah, family, our clients. We love you. Thank we you love for tuning you all. in. <laughs> <laughs> to travelers and to the Agape members, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, today, I am, like we also said that, we're chilling with Ulelo and Libo uh, So, I want you, as you introduce yourself, ne? but in a nutshell, who is Libo Before you are the founder, before <laughs> you are the director of Lelo and Travels, who is Libo Um... Dubong is a young, 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 young South African that um, from I'm from Guazul Natal, the rural area of Guazul Natal, Guanongoma. That's where I grew up, and I came this side for to study. Actually, I just came mm. to PE to study, and then uh, things happened the way they mm. did. So, yeah. Turned out to be good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Turned out to be good. Um, so, who is Lelo? Um, Lelo, Lelo is, um, a young black girl who's trying to reach out to the world, Mm -hmm. um, make money, be as humble as possible as Mm. she can, um, and respect everyone. Mm. Yeah, that's Lelo. She's from KZN and yeah, she loves traveling. That's why she chose (laughs) (laughs) 
<laughs> she chose to come to Eastern Cape mm-hmm. instead of studying in KZN. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's as a know. traveler. Yeah, like, it just worked in place mm-hmm. then. Because remember, you're a traveler now. You're doing traveling. Yes. Which gives brings me back to why why go into the business of traveling? Yes, you love traveling, um, but now why go into the tours and everything? What inspired this venture? Uh, it's a passion for passion for business itself and then there was that uh, we had that love for traveling mm. so we just had to combine it what would work for us what would work for the passion that we have at that mm. time and and then there was opportunity because with business it has to be opportunity true, true, you need to true. see the opportunity mm. so with our our story a bit funny because we had to start the business uh, in the midst of the pandemic mm. during COVID-19 uh, on the 5th of June, 2020, level 5, level 4, I think it was level 4, level, level 5. Yeah, yeah, so we just had to say there's opportunity for us right now mm. to go into the market, learn, and then, you know, uh, the tourism industry, was as much as it was shut down and closed, but there was just that opportunity for us to get in, learn while while everyone is also mm. starting to pick up, you know, because mm. everyone was closed and then everyone had to True. start at least from scratch, if not anything. Yeah. Mm. So we just had to blend the two. You both came to PE to study. Yes. yes. May I ask, is it anything that has to do with business and traveling or is it something totally different? It's just the passion for traveling and business now. For me, I wouldn't say it's totally different because I did HR, so there's a bit oh, of uh, okay, all right, okay. business modules that you do here and mm. here and there. So I wouldn't say it was totally away from it. I've always wanted something close, mm. but yeah. And you, Lela? It's very, very far, <laughs> <laughs> very, very far away from mm. from tourism because I'm doing a Bachelor of Environmental Health. Oh. Yeah, so we are more concerned with the public health, and yeah, it's very, very far Not from. <laughs> It's very far. It's just yeah. the passion. Yes. Um, so would you say, I want to give you this. I want to ask you this. So would you say that it, it's wise to actually, not even wise, but to actually go after the passion and turn it into business? Because sometimes people go, would say it's just a hobby, but you have made it the success that it is right now. It's only two years. Yeah. Only two years. And it's going up far. So would you say that it's wise or it's, it's recommendable to actually look into your passion? Yes, I think um, you, 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 you tend, you, if you love something, you put more effort in it mm. than doing something for the sake of, oh, I just need cash, I just need something to survive. Mm. So if you, if, you, if you know your passion, go for it instead of like, I just want money because you put so much effort into it and you will not want yeah. anything yeah. to come in between the, yeah. the, that thing. So now, I want you to, um, I want you to uh, briefly explain what Lelo, tra- Lelo and Travels is. Like, what is this business? Okay, Lelo and Travels is a traveling agency. Mm. We specialize in um, creating holiday dreams. Okay. So when you have a dream to be on a holiday, mm. when you come to us, you're coming to the right people. You heard we that. Because <laughs> you have it as a dream mm, and we just mm. need to play it out for you into a reality. Make it happen for you. Mm. We take away the stress of you having to book, you having to call uh, five uh, resorts or PMBs and then you having to get the, the people you are going to be traveling with. Mm. Uh, they're going to pull out, they're going to do that and this, you know, when you come to a and travels, when coming into our tours, you can come in as a solo traveler who will get you a family for mm. the weekend and it is always is amazing. Mm. We've had people that met on our tours Ooh. and have become travel buddies. So here, Aww. if you're looking for a travel buddy, this is the right place to come. So Lele and Travels, we we make it happen for mm. you. So you just have to pay the money and you relax as much as you can. We will do our everything, best, everything oh. we can possible to make sure that your dream holiday is amazing mm. it's, it's memory they always say you visit new places you make great memories visit new places make you make great, great memories, memories. Yes. Uh, it is nine minutes past one this is the midday talk at a copy fm i will not be and today i'm sitting with ulelo and putlibongwe of lelo and travels and uh, we are saying visit new places and make, make great, great memories oh 
You see, <laughs> <laughs> Visit new places and make great memories. Um, if you're a traveler, if you've always wanted to travel but you don't have a buddy, please do contact Lilo and Travels. They will. You will. You no, find. Not just, just when you're looking for a buddy. Even families with mm, your customized poems. trips. Couples. Oh. love lives here. Mm. Always. <laughs> <laughs> and you go. It's always um, fun. Yes, um, you deal for with, with the uh, couples, we do couples, for groups, for and couples, everything. Yeah. And then self drives for families, mm. uh, just to make just to take away the stress. Most mm. importantly, mm. you just you don't panic. You don't have to worry about anything because even if there's like a last minute cancellation, maybe from the mm. BNB due to whatever. You you not stress about we it. Deal we deal it. with it as it mm. comes. We make sure we we just inform you, and you you we can rest assured that we will make it happen, mm. regardless of what's happening. Ooh. We just make sure that the holiday the show goes on. Let me just the show it. must go on. <laughs> <laughs> so um, like you now mentioned that when it comes to late bookings or late cancellations, that you deal with the stress. Now, when it comes to that, when you started, COVID time. Everyone went, wanted business. Um, there were tra- traveling restrictions. So how did you? How do you? What do you know now that you wish you've known when you started? Um, I I think what we know now is to be stricter on the policies okay. of the company of bookings, whereby before we were we we're very light on it. Mm. So whereby you find uh, having too many cancellations to deal with. And then oh. it affects the relationship we have with the supplier. Mm. And mm. The, la- we have, the relationships we have with everyone because with the supplier, they've kept 10 rooms for us. Mm. Now we're having uh, almost eight rooms to cancel. They're losing Ooh. business. So next true, time, true. it doesn't only affect them. Next time when we're having other people, then it, ca- it reflects back yeah, from the supplier yeah. saying, hey, you remember what? happened last time so mm. now i'm not sure if i mm. can so we wish when we started we knew that but mm. but we hey we're here now yeah. <laughs> we're here we now. Bottom, now we're here is it <laughs> <laughs> so lelo the name is your name right yeah <laughs> so when you were coming up with the name right because now it's a new business you need a new identity everything you need it's a brand so what 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 did you go through when you were planning on the name when designing the name or did you just say no it's gonna be little in hmm. <laughs> <laughs> i think i think we 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 love putting our names into Mm. our business because we have e- Ilibonga Entertainment okay. and so we're like um, Lelo and Nene it just it, it clicks yeah, so why yeah, not mm. so yeah I think it's it's the love of our names <laughs> and just the trying identity. to pre- yes, pre- <laughs> build a bread with our names mm, so yeah mm, I think mm. and it's a catchy name Lelo again uh yeah <laughs> um as the, I, I feel like also when you are also um designing a name it also need, gives a significant meaning to you yeah. and you love what you do yeah. Yeah. so you love yourself <laughs> i mean <laughs> why not <laughs> why not <laughs> why not yeah why not so, um, is there a process because you're dealing with people every yeah. trip there's people every trip you need to deal with the suppliers so it's always people is there a process where in which you deal with a difficult client? Um. <laughs> <laughs> I think what what's always work for for me and I think with the crew and everyone it's um the client is always right. Okay. Um just calm, be relaxed, hear them out. Mm. Yeah. And maybe um if you if you listen to them you could actually see you could say, okay this was wrong we're not supposed to do it like this mm. instead of you having the same energy they are shouting and we are also shouting so listen to to what they are saying and then find a way to work um mm. to make it work so i think that's um one of the things like mm. make sure everyone is happy and yeah yeah now, just to add on that our our client i want to say they're difficult they they're sweethearts. Né? They <laughs> wanted to happen the way you told them it would happen. Yeah. So 
there's always those times whereby maybe you're delaying by an hour or something like that. so <laughs> the, it, it always uh, it always gets them scared mm. you see because they've ne- you 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 you're doing this thing online there's so much scam. they've never met so you you've never met the two of yes. us now we are saying to you we're running maybe 30 minutes late in green acres you obviously think your money is gone mm. maybe you have 10 people that you've booked for so you obviously have to panic so of course when we're coming there we need mm. to understand that your emotions will be a bit high but then now we have the whole weekend to make you smile and we'll definitely do that. Ah, now nah, enjoy me. <laughs> yeah, any little mm, mm, you get, yeah. Mm, mm. So now we're dealing with clients and dealing who deals with clients between you between you guys? Everyone. Whoever's on tour, especially whoever <laughs> the person that's so, on tour. So yeah. um you don't always go together. Yeah. On tours, yeah. it, you you just divide. Yeah, sometimes I have two tours, so she handles oh, one, right. I handle one, okay, and then okay. maybe sometimes three. There's someone else handling mm. the other one. So, we, it's only when it's not a busy weekend, or maybe when we're having a big group, but we're only having one tour, then, then we have to go, go together. together. Then yeah. we just deal with them. Depend, you know, with our with the, our clients, they all they'll always lay out their complaint mm. or whatever to the person that they feel like they're closest yeah, to yeah. them at that time. Mm. You see, because you see you. you one person is chatting to me, so the obvious you know, there's that relationship mm. that they feel like it's safer to talk to me about something true, true. they're not happy about instead of going to Ulelo because they've not discussed anything with Ulelo. Ulelo they didn't is, do a booking is. through Ulelo or anything, but then they did a booking through me, same, vice versa. Mm. So, yeah. it, it gets to a point where they are in a car and they want to pee or they want to use the loo. Mm. They text the person who <laughs> they book with. Even if mm. they are not there on the trip, but Lelo, we need to use the bathroom. But I'm not <laughs> on the trip. <laughs> Why am I not talking to the people mm. who are on the trip? Mm. So yeah, I think it's that relationship that we build when we when we chat when they are poking. Mm. So yeah. So have you ever had an, an instance? Okay, before I ask the instance, right? So you are not on the trip, Lelo. Mm. And then with Malibongo, you are on the, you're, you're on the trip. And then they text you. So you need to text. Yes. <laughs> yes. Or call sometimes because I'm driving. So mm. The best way is to call. You know what they say. If you're, do, if you're doing what you love, you'll it's never work stress. a day in your life. Yeah. At this moment, I want your jobs. <laughs> 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 at this moment mm-hmm. I want to travel. So how how do you, how often do you travel? Oh, every it's, it's 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 every, every yeah, it's every weekend. It's almost every month like we are busy. Yeah. Mm. I think so, since last year we've never had a free weekend. It's no. been weekend oh. after weekend. But it's a free weekend because you travel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, when we were there, I think I think when we were there we until maybe the last day, we are always worried about yeah, we are paying are these people him. going to be happy. Okay. That's the most important thing. They pay mm. for something we so need much. to deliver. Yeah, yeah, so it's always that. Or maybe on a Sunday, then we, we yeah. obviously have that small meeting. That what do you think? Or I'll call and say, what do you think is happening that side? On my side, they happen mm. right now. I think I've won this one. Yeah. And then yeah. You, you know, you, you hear how they'll talk. You know, our, our clients are the most honest people. Yeah. When they don't like something, they'll tell you that. Mm, like, mm, eh, mm. In the middle of the tour, they'll tell you, hey, hey, please don't start with us. In the middle of the tour, <laughs> they'll tell you how amazing you are. Yeah. That's how mm. much they, they, mm. they, so they, they sing for us when they are happy. Like, yeah. they hey. dance for mm. us. So, it's always, it's so, always wonderful. So, that's how you take it. Like, now, now, now <laughs> they're happening. singing. Now they're singing. Yeah. Now they're singing. <laughs> you've got a checklist. Yeah. You've got a checklist. So, it's 100%. Mm. Yeah, it's gone. Mm. Are you a traveler? Do you want to travel? Um, Please do contact Lelo and events. Um, I'm saying events. Because we're coming to the events part. Um, Lelo and travels. Um, To make your book cake. In fact, you're not even making your book cake. You are, they will do everything for you. This is still the midday talk at Agape FM, and I am sitting with my Libongo, Libongo. Libongo. <laughs> and Lelo, um, of Lelo N Travels. The business there is um, Lelo N, and then Le- Libongo Libongo events. events. Yes. What's that all about? Um, we do events that side. Uh, but now we're just trying to mix the combine the two. Mm, mm. I think you said um, there's something that's coming up on our page. So yeah, mm. stay mm. tuned. About that mm. one. <laughs> but then, so we're mixing the two. We're trying okay. to trying to mix it because traveling is entertainment. True. Um, going to an event with an artist that's entertainment. Mm. But if you take the two strongest elements of entertainment, put them, them together. together, make one Ooh, thing. I it's yeah. a bomb. 
Ipom, Ipom, <laughs> Ipom. So with the with, because I also saw that in your posters, you always have um activities, exercises that you also tag along with the with the pricing and everything. It's it's a full package. Yeah. How do you plan these? Uh, we look at the destination. I think. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And and um, we we always try to see we do a Port Alfred we Port Alfred we have a hike we have a cruise so when we we go to Mpumalanga and then we have to do your um, activities that we do not normally that we don't have in Port Alfred so okay. that if we have people who have been in Port Alfred they don't they have to repeat to repeat the same activity mm. that they did okay. so it's always something like that yeah it's so exciting it's like yeah. That. yeah so mm. it's it basically we're creating memories because you know uh, people before when you're just traveling you find mm. that you just book a hotel you stay, stay in the hotel the get weekend. up go to the mall you know, we're just creating experience and memories because mm. you find that sometimes People are like for, uh, so scared of doing quad biking, but we have oh. to beg them, come on, do it. And then at the end of the day, they are yeah, the happiest yeah. out of everyone, <laughs> even the ones that mm. were, were on for it. They are not, they're not happy. The one that was scared is yeah. extremely excited. They want to repeat it now. They want to know <laughs> if they're slot now. Yeah. <laughs> so what would you say, uh, what, what would you consider as a weakness at Lelo events, Lelo and Travels? Uh, I think it's been too soft okay. on our on our clients. Mm. Sometimes, um, sometimes being soft doesn't always work for us. Mm. You okay. see, because we 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 expecting maybe balances to be paid on a certain time. You mm. call and then someone says, ah, please, please, and they're like, okay, because it's let's fine. just do this. Yeah. <laughs> and then on the day they promised, you call them, they saying, no, I'm no longer coming. Oh. Now then. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a mess because you had maybe at that time we had a chance to discuss with the supplier that look can we try and mm, amend mm, something because there's still time even for the supplier because you know with some tools we even go they pay for empty rooms because we don't want to ruin the relationship yeah, with the yeah. supplier oh. yeah, we rather keep this relationship money we can always make it again the relationship yeah. it takes time true, it true, took so true. much for us to make those relationships whereby sometimes mm. our clients are able to check in without us and we're able to make calls uh, quick and just say, look, we're coming through. This is what's happening. Mm. What can you do for us? Oh. And say, no, I'll make rooms available for you. Mm. And so you don't want to destroy that mm. because of maybe there was like uh, 150 mm. short or something. Yeah. Oh. Um, have you ever had an incident where you plan a trip for 10 people and they cancel? All ten. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they, they, they like yeah. maybe five cancel. With private groups, yeah, mm. we are likely to to meet that, but we 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 always try and, and meet them halfway. Okay. So we would always say there's a minimum requirement. So um, our private trips they will start from six. That's okay. like the minimum requirement. Right. So if it's anything below that, then ah. Uh, Hey, it's hard. Hey, it's we, hard. Rather, we rather <laughs> send you something else and say, look, we need five. Mm -hmm. On this way, same weekend, we are having this trip. Maybe mm, we're not saying, so just it. consider it yeah. and maybe take it. Mm. But then you have others that are, they're probably not even saying mm. it's a cancellation. They just take the money for the sixth person, divide it among themselves, and they get them like, I keep counting five of you. Where's that well, other person I'm you paid for? Mm. And they're like, ah, no, we didn't want to worry you. So, so and we yeah. wanted this trip to happen. Mm. So it just depends. Mm. You spoke on uh, on on relationships with the with the booking with the with the supplier. Now I want to know how was the relation? How do you build the relationships with the clients with the travelers? <sighs> you did it right the first time. Okay. I think that's the best way because everyone yeah. who's come back it's mm. because they, they had a good time. Yeah. Yeah. A good time. Yeah. Um, you have days, each day, each office, you have bad days. True, we've had true. our bad days, but we've had people that would give us second chance. Mm. You know, we'll come again like, and, then. and we'll come again. And then I'll say, I don't regret it. Because oh. that's the aim, is to make everyone happy. You you, you, try and well, you try and communicate everything to the clients during the tour. You try mm. and treat them as special as you can in the morning how did they sleep mm -hmm. uh, but they, did they enjoy the breakfast mm -hmm. did they enjoy that you need to just constantly check up and they, our clients enjoy they, that yeah they need to see you they need to feel they you active. they need mm -hmm. to hear you which you are present like you keep on checking on them mm -hmm. they it's it makes them happy yeah 
you, 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 you keep mentioning that happy clients, happy clients, happy clients. I'm starting to get the feel that the, it's the basis of how happy they are. Now, I want to know, how, what, how do you measure a successful, besides the checklist that you had, <laughs> we had a tag, like how do you measure a successful trip and um, how, do you measure, how do you measure if there is any, you know, people measure success. Yeah. People measure how things happen. So how do you how do you check that? Okay, this month we've had four trips because you never have a weekend yeah. that's away. So on this month we had four trips, and um, three of them were good, but one. How do you go back and change or see how can we change that? How do you do it? We we'll, we focus on the complaints. Yeah, and the reviews and the comments that are made based on that trip. Um, there are also recommendations. We know, Guti, if we have more people, like uh, my friend was traveling with you and then they gave me your number, we want to go to this place. So we know that we did good. And if some clients prefer not to say, mm. if they were not happy, like, okay, they were just like, dead quiet, they'll mm. not give you any feedback. And then we always know, it's okay, there's something, there's something wrong. wrong. Yeah. yeah, so we always know, just like that, the reviews, the comments, the recommendations. Then we know what, how did we do. And we check on a Monday after a talk. Mm. The calls don't come. <laughs> the calls don't come. Mm. Then, yeah. But they're so tired though. No, the calls from people from recommendations. Oh, because okay. people keep posting. Yes, yes. That's that we're on the tour. Mm. You can't call us. And then you're like, you're waiting for Monday. So mm. Monday morning, 7 o'clock, there's a landline. Who's calling on the landline? <laughs> like, hey, Chomiami uh, uh, was with traveling with you guys. Mm. Uh, don't you have any other trip? And, uh, okay, mm. this was a success mm. because mm. now mm. there's mm. someone already calling us. So Monday and Tuesday, we the call the most calls we get are just people that say, we saw this during the weekend from a friend of ours. Mm. Please, okay. we want to know more. We want, and then... Uh, is there any other trip they did recommend us to the Facebook page? But we want to know, like someone you feel that this person wants to travel this coming upcoming mm. trip, <laughs> but now it's just maybe it's finances on their yeah. side, mm. or we don't have space, space. available. Mm. Yeah. Um, Melanie September is saying hi there. I always follow your page. Tell me, do you mix groups in order to make a full a full group? Mm. I'm not. I, I'll try and answer it the way I understand it. Mm -hmm. You're saying mixed groups. I'm not sure whether it, 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 it's. So do you mix? I think what she's trying to say is that do you mix people in order? For um, for instance, maybe they are you are looking for ten people for this particular group for this particular trip, and then do you mix in order to get to that ten? Yes, if it's a public trip. So public trips are the one you see us post. Then we okay. have private trips whereby uh, it's either you contact us on the site and you let us know that you want to go to a certain place where you choose your own dates. You All know, right, okay. Then, with private trips, no. Private trips, you, as long as you meet the minimum required mm. for the trip, the six people. you are good to go. Mm. But mm. then if it's as a, a public tour like the one that we, we post on our Facebook, we, we have a target. Okay. So in order to get to that target, we, we take everyone. We take everyone. everyone. Mm -hmm. so, so these are couples, these are individuals, yeah. these are friends, so friends, everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Some are mm -hmm. celebrating anniversaries, birthdays. Mm -hmm. It's just a mix. But mm -hmm. the good thing is, most of the time they become family. You never feel alone. Yeah. 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 You yeah. never yeah. feel alone. And it said that, I, I think I read it somewhere, that as a, so a solo traveler, if you want to do something, and people are canceling on you. Go, go there, yeah. you'll find people who mm -hmm. wanted to be mm -hmm. there. You would definitely. Right? Yeah. <laughs> we have a, I have like, I think, few friendships that we know that were developed in, in our mm. tours because they'll keep tours. coming back to us. Like, uh, you have, uh, when we're using Kobe River Charlotte uh, for accommodation, whether mm. there's six people. Sometimes you have just solo travelers. Six of them, Ooh. they need to spend the, the whole weekend together. <laughs> so there's one way to make it work, <laughs> is to become friends. And they really become friends because we have some that have been traveling with us maybe since last year. They decided to just become friends. They even meet without us. I mm. once saw it. They went to a birthday part of one of them and they sent me the pictures like, look, we're together. Ooh, like, wow, that's so amazing. Yeah. Yeah, so <laughs> amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what makes uh, Lelo and you, um, travels different from other from from your competitors? What's 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 that selling point? We are professional. We have um, affordable package, and we 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 um, our clients we we under we 
we how do i put this um Home relationships. yes Home with relationships. our children yes yeah, we, yeah. we understand what they want and we deliver what they want mm. with their we stay if you want a package you give us this is how much i want and this is what i want and we make sure we see with this amount this is what you get mm. and it's something that you want so we always stay within your budget when you customize your trip we always make sure that you are happy you get the package that you need mm. yeah we and we give vip treatment mm, and very the important VIP yeah. treatment from the suppliers that we use we make sure that we have things like um, secret location secret okay. location you don't know where you're going you don't know where you're gonna sleep Ooh. so now you understand that nothing can go wrong and mm. when you take people to a secret location and they come back happy you know that you're doing something that mm. no one else can do. Secret Maybe only to take yeah. time for them to do. <laughs> so, mm. Yeah, we mm. have things like we try and uh, we try and play around what what we'll see maybe uh, on a tour that okay on our tour people like drinks why not customize a package with drinks, drinks. make okay. it easy for them because uh -huh. some of them are traveling distances by the time they get to maybe Deben. Uh, the shops are closed now they have to spend more why not take away the stress put the drinks in the Everything. package oh. let them come whether they're coming late or they're coming early mm. their package has their drinks waiting for them so <gasps> you try and look we what makes it different is just looking at what is, is trending maybe on our tours okay. and mm -hmm. then we try and implement it yeah, going then, forward yes oh, i wish i had more time because i've got <laughs> so many questions for you <laughs> it is uh three one minutes past one it is a monday afternoon the 18th of april 2022 and uh you are still tuning into the midday talk and today i'm sitting um with the founders the directors of lelo and travels now you're telling me that um every trip is different there are private groups, there are private trips, there are secret locations. Mm. Okay, so now, what are, next weekend, because I know you, oh, you had mentioned that every weekend you are going somewhere. So where are you going next weekend? Um, this weekend, we just celebrating a few achievements Ooh. just uh, yeah. for the company. Um, I'm graduating. Mm. Yeah. Mm. We're having a graduate. So <laughs> yeah. we just decided we can chill for mm. this one. Um, but we 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 we're doing. Uh, we also have our sightseeing. But the following weekend, we're yeah, going it's a busy out one. to. Yeah. We have Margate, we have Hawksburg, we yeah. have Mpumalanga. Ah. So it's so a busy we're weekend. Three provinces, yeah. one weekend. Wait, wait, <laughs> <laughs> wait. There's only two of you. No, no there's, there's a team. There, oh, there's yeah, a team. Yeah, so yeah. now, yeah. can I so, join the team? <laughs> So now, there's three trips in one weekend. Yeah. You, re guys, you really are busy, huh? Yeah. yeah. Traveling it's is, is it's there. And in total, it's, we, 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 we having 100 people. Yeah, in one because week. Because we're having Ooh. the, the day tour, which has maybe, it's, it's close to 60 people mm -hmm. with our weekend tours. So yeah, it's close to 100. Mm -hmm. But we normally do it. I think the biggest we've had on the weekend was the December weekend. With oh, yeah. Week. We had like, I think it was 180 people yeah. try within the space of five days because we came back from one tour to the next to the next. Get ready for mm. another just, one. Yeah, there was you, no rest. You, you, once, <laughs> after checking out the, the mm. other group, the, the, the new group mm. was coming to check in. So you're just there waiting for them. Ooh. They need to come in. Let's keep it going. Yeah. And now all this, oh my word. <laughs> oh my word. People travel. Thank you, COVID. Eh? Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, COVID. Because Perfect. now people are just tired of being indoors. Yeah, people well, want well, to travel. People want to see out. people. Yeah. yeah. Um, so now these trips. So you're going next, this weekend. It's a celebration weekend. Celebration yeah. weekend. Um, before the celebration weekend, what have you celebrated before? A milestone that you say, yeah. Uh, well, Birthday, <laughs> our first birthday our as Lelo and Travels. Yeah. Mm. So, when is mm. the birthday? Uh, 5th, 5th of June. June. 5th of June. Yes, okay, sir, yes. so we are celebrating the second birthday this year. Yes. yes. And you're doing so much. Doing so much. Yeah, we, 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 are, we are really, really growing from where we started to mm. where we are now. It's like, it, it's a must to celebrate because we grow almost every year. Like, yeah, we, mm. we keep going up and up and up. Yeah. yeah. Future prospects, what can we look forward to? Can look forward to more trips. Mm -hmm. um, Traveling more, abroad. 
on Facebook, are there any and other other platforms that you also market those trips that you put these those trips in? Yes, we, we also have all Instagram. Okay. Uh, yes, it's still it's Lelo and Travels. Everything is the same, and then it's 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 also WhatsApp, and then word yeah, of for mouth. Yeah, it's just the social media, mm-hmm. the word of mouth. Um, we we were looking into trying to do a town to town. A promo. Yeah. We're just working on the things. Our weekends are busy, and that's when we get this pe- mm. to get the people Ooh, we need to be out there. Yeah, yeah. We're trying to mm. see which weekend we will sacrifice mm. and just do the the town to town, uh, especially yeah. for our hotspot where we know that uh, mm. people, our people mostly come, they yeah. come from that mm. side uh, because last year we had so many people begging and asking us to have um, East London as a pickup point, yeah. and then for most of our tours this year we're having East London as a pickup point, Ooh. and it's, it's really working because last year they were begging, please, please, <laughs> we don't this. mind yeah. eating money with this one <laughs> from this side mm. going to. A by uh, around 4 a.m. when we're going to Cape Town is impossible. So now you just relax in your East London and we come at 4 a.m. and we'll pick you up. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, everything is just done <laughs> for you. Everything is just done for you. So um, please do share your social media platforms where we can find you and uh, the number for WhatsApp. Yeah, it's Facebook. It's uh, Facebook and Instagram at Lelo and Travels. Like yeah. When you just write it, you it will definitely show. And then on our contact number on WhatsApp it's 076 2642818 and we have 060 And please repeat those. 076 2642818 And we also have our email if you don't have WhatsApp or our mm. Uh, so or Instagram or Facebook, it's Lelo N Travels at gmail dot com. And then with the emails, sometimes a person should try to send it at least two times because sometimes it goes to the spam true, and we cannot true. see it. And mm. then sometimes a person will call shouting, "You don't answer the email!" Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, don't answer the email. And you try I will never see this email. email. Mm. Yeah. Anything and then remember, oh, let me try and check the, the spam, spam for yeah. sure. There's something that, and then we get like, okay, yeah, mm, uh, I, yeah. I, should, I should have answered yeah. it. So, at least sometimes you're trying to um, send it or just a follow up, mm. maybe mm. by a phone that did you receive an email like this, and then yeah, we, if, we get, if we got it, we'll obviously yeah, respond mm. to you. Yeah, and also and, with, our, with our numbers, if you call one and it doesn't pick up, please try the other one because it's maybe busy with another call, mm. it's not because they're ignoring you. Yeah, yeah. And, and then we can preferably text because it's it's so hectic you can't even pick up the phone and sometimes you're not really avoiding because mm-hmm. someone will say i call during the weekend they don't pick up calls but at least if you text definitely after the at night around 10 or when we we'll are out for the night mm-hmm. life, then we just try to respond to everyone as much as we can Mm-hmm. And those details will be on our social media platforms. If you missed any of that, please do contact us on 69 402 We will gladly refer you to Lelo and Travels. I always do this to my guests. 
I love it. And it always works for me. <laughs> right? Um, as um you you as directors of Lilo, Lilo and Trouble, right? Um, how would you because you you just started and it's just at the peak of yeah. business right now. How would you encourage or um advise someone else who wants to start something they're passionate about, but doubt they don't know like I'm gonna give you this? And then you're getting two today. <laughs> so how would you encourage or advise someone out there to start? Um, the most important thing is to kick start it. Mm. Get it going. You will mm. never know what how 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 much of a failure it would be or how successful, successful it would be unless you start. Because if you if I tell my friend my friend would obviously tell me something, that, which is good. You listen to other people, it's always okay, but start it. Make sure you start it. Uh, sometimes the finances are not going to be mm -hmm. good, mm -hmm. but if the finances are going to be good, you look at an angle that maybe would would suit the finances you have at that time. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're having to do f uh, funding, apply for those things that are not, uh, and they are not currently working. If you, let's say, maybe you, you're trying to start a, a supermarket, yeah. that's big. Of course, you start slowly, start tuck shop, start selling the sweet. You make the money. Mm, mm. Once it starts uh, going, the you, you see the challenges. Then now you know what to expect. All right. You see, because I, I feel like with us young people, sometimes we we want to start at the peak. You want, just yeah, want to start yeah. and then, and then everything's But mm. then it, it doesn't happen like that, uh, regardless of how many motivations you listen to. <laughs> it, it just has to be, there's just mm. something that... It, at some point, you need to feel that pressure. Yeah. You need to feel like it's not working. We felt it before, but maybe the, the, we had so much belief that it mm. has to work. At some point, mm. it has to work. Mm. Whether it works now or a bit later, but we're always praying it works now. Because yeah. like sometimes patience is not... Uh, yeah, uh, So sure. just to summarize what I was saying, start it. Start. Yes. Just start. Mm -hmm. um, and from here? Um, I think, yeah, it's, it's, you have to start. Don't be afraid to start. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't mean it's, it's not valid or it's, you should change the whole thing. Maybe okay. change the way you're doing it mm -hmm. and see from mm -hmm. other angles if it would it not work. But don't be afraid to try. Mm -hmm. Yeah. First step is put your business out there. You learn most things once you start mm, you don't yeah. have to start learning things before you start you learn other things while you while you have started mm. so try and and just don't give up tell mm. yourself i'm i want this and i'm getting this don't give up mm. and mm. just to add a, a little more your biggest market are the people you don't know. Mm. That's sure. your biggest market. Absolutely. So if so you true. feel like the people you know are not supporting you enough, forget them. The people you yeah. don't know are the right ones. That's <laughs> your market. Ah, uh, you see today. <laughs> it's a good Monday. <laughs> um, start. Um, if it doesn't work, it doesn't mean that it's not valid. Mm. Just change the approach. Yeah. And uh, your greatest market is the people that you don't know. Yes. Okay. I will not say anything that's further than <laughs> that. And this is the Midday Talk. Thank you so much for coming through. See, I would like a call. Thank you for having us. Thank you, sir. And all the best for your future endeavors. Um, I can't wait to actually see the international tours. Yeah. Right, so we are going there now. Mm -hmm. yes, <laughs> and please do check them out on the Facebook platforms and also on Instagram. Um, they are Lilo and Travels. Um, this is a Mitte Talk era copy of M. Dinguyo Unwabi Sawakwambe Kela. And uh, it's been good, it's been great. Uh, we are traveling every weekend. Yeah. As uh, celebration, um, all the best guys, celebrate. Kubem Nand. <laughs> um, today I'm going to leave you with Here Again by Elevation Worship. Uh, till next time, please do not touch the dial. I'm going to see you on Tuesday. Thank you and be blessed. Bye. Mm -hmm.